in the NRL, a Premiership winner on two occasions. 24 Origin appearances for Queensland and 13 tests for Australia. He has a Cairns Junior back in the North tonight. Give it up for Justin Hodges! I've had a talk in the dressing room. Remember, obey my commands at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Good luck, shake hands. So worth noting that Justin Hodges has the headgear, Shandor Earl doesn't, and he looks scarily relaxed for someone who's heading in for the very first time. Yeah, Ben, he does, and um, look, uh, I'd be going through Justin's head at the moment. He was knocked out in the first round, so look, it's, uh, it's a brave thing to get back in there and let's see what's going to happen. The southpaw is Earl, and you can see straight away he does know what he's doing, and Hodges just tosses out that right hand. It's an active right hand of Earl, who takes a shot with the right hand of Hodges and is very quickly on his heels. Hodges picked his shot, had his moment. And let's see how Earl responds to that. Well, he goes big with a left hand and down goes Justin Hodges. I was just about to say, don't get carried away, Justin, because you hit him. You're going to go onto a punch again. Big right hand early from Hodges. Then he took one of his own and he went down. He's never been out of the opening rounds in three fights so far. Shandell Earl closing in, trying to make sure that it happens a fourth time. Isn't it funny how they all say they learn from the mistakes and they're going to take their time? As soon as Justin landed one punch, he jumped on him straight away. Too early. Big left hand there from Earl got around. Now they hold on. Hodges steps in and takes another of those winging left hands. Right. Step back. Right. 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 Step back. Both worn shots, but Hodges has been down, and now as they hold, he works hard. Hodges hurt him then. Right. Back on his jab now, or at least pouring with it, is Earl. Hodges watchful, he wants that right hand. Whatever happens, Ben, it's a 10-8 round. Another right hand by Hodges that landed and hurt. Just waiting on that right hand is Hodges time and time again, and whenever Earl misses, he's there with it. Now they hang on. Good left hook, two from Hodges, but it will be a 10-8 round. Definitely so, but he came back towards the end of that round and Hodges would go back very, very confident. He heard him a few times. Shandor Earl came out looking good, wore a shot, and then as Hodges tried to close in, there's that moment. He thought he had him early. He wanted to finish off. Oh, that was only a little slap too, wasn't a big punch. So, a 10-8 round to open it up. I know you got him once, but that's enough. This is dropping. Yeah. You must keep that there. Okay? You must. Use this, then throw that straight. That's all you got to do. All right? Anything you want to say? Easy said than done, Ben. Hands up. First time he's ever listened to instructions in the corner as a boxer. Let's hope he has. He's never been out strong. of the opening round, and now he has. So, Justin Hodges, who had good moments. Ten seconds gone there before they start. Earl throwing that jab now. Earl's going to have to take the initiative. Earl's going to have to jump on him. He can't just wait, because Justin will win those punches and hits him with those right hands. He can't hurt him. He's a big man. There's that right hand again. Right hand got through from... Earl and just jabs as well. Now they hang on and happy to do so. Earl just fainting with that jab, but to throw it all that much. Rogers has dropped that right hand before he throws it. They hang on. 
Thorpe's definitely not giving him any room. Thorpe has been hurt a few times, so every time he gets in close, he's holding just as tight as he can. Low shot gets through there from Earl. Left hand as Hodges closed in. Now he throws a nice left hand. Hodges felt that and he has to hold on. The forearm comes out from Hodges after he was hurt. Earl would have got confidence from that. He picks him off on the way in. They hang on. Shots got through from both. Both, but he hurt him again. Now I just hurt him again. He's not holding for nothing. Straight left hand from Earl, but I just held on to him. Close round. What do you do with that round, Jeff? Well, it's a close round, bit, man. Like you said, man, they both landed some good punches there. Maybe I'll give that an even round. So Earl's in front, maybe uh, still, but um, yeah, just not just certainly showed something in that round. He came back. He did. He drove forward, did Hodges. He took some shots, and Earl does look slick, and Hodges didn't like what was going on and stopped it with a forearm. You know, I don't like giving even rounds, Ben. I don't even like doing that, but I'm saying, yeah, it's, it's really hard. Well, there was a, a nice elbow there, but it's really hard to pick a... a couple of elbows really, Yeah, yeah, there's a couple of elbows, yeah. Yeah, it's, been yeah, it's hard, especially with these two-minute rounds. Last it's round. over in a flash. It's up to you. Nothing stupid. How we going, mate? got the time. Going, mate? Do you have the time when it's going? I'm going to go off now. He wants to know when there's 30 seconds or a minute to go. <laughs> so that is Junior Paulo having his hands wrapped by his trainer, Justin Fitzgerald. Neville Costigan is the man who's put his hand up to step in with Junior. We've got two minutes of action left. Between Shandor Earl, who scored a knockdown in the opening round, and Justin Hodges, who had his moments in the second. You know, if Justin Hodges wants to win, he's got to throw punches. That's what he's got to do. And I know he'll want to win. He's a, he's a competitor, this guy. There it is. Justin Hodges. Got to Earl. It might look good, Ben, but he's got to throw those punches. Just wrap up here. They get back at distance. And Hodges really playing in that headgear a lot. It's giving him some trouble. But it might have protected him too from some of these shots that have come in as he's tried to close that gap. Earl pouring out with that jab, just measuring. Hodges will look for a right hand. Straight left hand there by Earl. Coming nicely to Earl. Less than a minute left in this third round. And the timekeeper has had a brain explosion. Hopefully our referee has the sense to overrule and keep them going. One minute to go, box on! He was shaking his head, some bells in his head. Just the warning bell of a minute. And they get a breather. There's no warning bell. <laughs> they get a breather and they continue on. Tough job, Tom. Yeah. There's that left hand from Earl that gets through, but Hodges wears it well and responds. Now he's flat-footed in front of Earl, who throws some decent shots. Earl picks him off on the way in. Misses wildly. They hang on. 20 seconds left in this fight. Big finish required from both of these fighters. Oh, just missed and the big left hand. It's going to be over. They won't, they won't even let go of this because the 15 seconds is up. Rogers misses with his own shot. And burrows in and Earl gets off a left hand that gets through. Misses with that one and they hang on again. And That'll take us to the bell. And this time it comes at the right time. And this one's over between Justin Hodges and Shandor Earl. How do you score the last of the rounds, Jim? Yeah, again, uh, with the knockdown, Earl's got to win this fight. And, uh, yeah, but look, uh, Justin Hodges certainly um, showed some courage in, in, in the last couple of rounds. But what he didn't show was any education from the first from the first couple of fights. He was saying he was going to be relaxed. But as soon as one, one big punch landed, he was straight into it. There's the highlights from this one. And...
Yeah, some good moments from both. Shandor Early's first time to the ring looked nice and relaxed and worked off a jab that he measured with a lot. Justin Hodges and a couple of... Well, I think Shandor also learned that uh, in the ring it's not like punching a bag, mate. It's, it's much more difficult. That, that was a difficult fight for him. He never won it convincingly, he never won it easily, but I think he won the fight. Knocked down in the opening round. Could be decisive for Shandor Earl, a 10-8 round to start us off. So Justin Hodges would have needed to be given rounds two and three by these judges. There's just one thing we remember, the judges. <laughs> We're not sure what's going to happen here. Well, <laughs> the timekeeper certainly uh, lost his way there in round three. <laughs> But let's see what's happened. Justin Hodges, at least, he made it out of the opening rounds. First time he's ever seen the final bell as a boxer. Two first round stoppage victories, one first round stoppage loss, and now he's gone the distance with Shandor Earl. Let's go. Let's go, now. And showed some good power again, Justin. Thanks, Shandor. He can keep going, but it looks a thing. Shandor is in very good condition. And meet opposite corners and just about ready to get the scores and find out who has won here between Earl and Hodges. Here's our ring announcer, James O'Shea. Well, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, show your appreciation. They gave you plenty of entertainment. Dustin Hodges and Shandor Earl, they deserve well your applause. Well done. We go to the judges' scorecards. So Judge Steve Marshall scores the bout 30 to 27. Judge Adam Height scores the bout 29 to 27. Judge Roy Saunders scores the bout 30 to 26. We have a unanimous decision, and it goes to the blue corner, Shadow! So he gets.